Today our topic is variation of parameter. This is a method for finding general solution of higher order linear differential equation. Mainly we discuss this method by giving an example. By using this example, we find the <coughs> we discuss this method that we should find the general solution of this differential equation. Maybe if we know the complementary function of a linear higher order linear differential equation, then by using the complementary function, we can find the general solution. We know how to find the complementary function of this differential equation. That is we first solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation that is this equal to 0. That means we solve, first solve this differential equation d2y dx2 plus 3 dy dx plus 2y equal to 0. If y equal to 2 d bar mx is a dial solution of this differential equation, then auxiliary equation is m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. That is m plus 2 into m plus 1 equal to 0 or m equal to minus 1 minus 2. So, complementary function of this differential equation equal to c1 into the bar minus x plus c2 into the bar minus 2x. Where c1, c2 are arbitrary constant. That is c1, c2 are parameter. We replace this parameter by function of x. Suppose <coughs> c1 is replaced by v1 and c2 is replaced by v2. And we take this is a general solution of this differential equation. That is, using this complementary function, we suppose y summon v1 to the power minus x plus v2 to the power minus 2x be the general solution of the differential equation. Then we first, uh, our target is to find the function B1 and V2. If we can find this B1 and V2, then we put this value, the uh, value of B1 and V2, and then we get the general solution of the differential equation. Now, differentiating this with respect to x, that is y dash equal to minus V1 uh, into the power minus x minus 2 v2 to the power minus 2x plus v1 dash to the power minus x plus v2 dash to the power minus 2x where dash is the denotes the derivative with the respect to x now we choose v1 v2 in such a way that this part equal to 0 that is the part which contains the derivative of v1 as well as v2 so we choose v1 v2 in such a way that v1 dash e to the power minus x plus v2 dash e to the power minus x equal to 0. So y dash equal to minus v1 e to the power minus x plus uh, minus 2 v2 e to the power minus 2. Again differentiating with respect to x we get my <coughs> v1 to the power minus x plus 4 v2 to the power minus 2x minus v1 dash to the power minus x minus 2 v2 dash to the power minus 2x. Now, since y is a solution of this differential equation, we now put y, y dash and y double dash in the given differential equation. After putting this value, we get v1 e to the power minus x plus 4 v2 e to the power minus 2x minus v1 dash e to the power minus x. 
Okay, three into y dash that is minus three g one into the power minus six minus six g two into the power minus six two y that is two g one into the power minus six plus two g two into the power minus two is equal one by one plus e to the power here. V1 and V2, the term containing the function V1 and V2 will be cancelled. Here, V1 to the power minus 6, minus 3 V1 to the power minus 6, 2 V1 to the power minus 6. That's it. This part is cancelled. Similarly, 4 V2 to the power minus 6, minus 6 V2, that is minus 2 V2 plus 2 V2 to the power minus 6. This part is also cancelled. That is, we get. Minus v1 gets to the power minus 2 minus uh, 2 v2 gets to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power x. That is, from this part, we can get these two equations. First, this part is equal to 0, is one equation. And another part replacing v1 and v2 by v1 dash and v2 dash, and this part is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power x. That is differentiating uh, y with respect to x, we get these two equation. And we don't solve this two equation if we put this equal to 1 and this can be written as v1 dash e to the power v1 dash e to the power minus x plus 2 v2 dash e to the power minus 2 is equal 1 by 1 plus e to the power x. Now, solving this two equation, we get v1 dash and v2 dash and then we integrate with respect to x then we get v1 as well as v2 and putting this v1 and v2 in this in this part then we get the general solution of this uh, of this differential equation now subtracting 1 from 2 we get v2 dash e to the power minus 2 is equal to uh, this is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus e to the power this is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus e to the power x or v2 dash equal to e to the power 2x by 1 plus e to the power x so v2 equal to integrating this now if we put 1 plus e to the power x equal to z then e to the power x dx equal to dz so we can write this is equal to j minus 1 to the j by j. This is equal to integration 1 by j to the j minus dj. So this is equal to log j log of one j minus log of j plus c o c o. So v2 is equal to v2 is equal to log of 1 plus e to the power x minus 1 plus e to the power x plus c1 now putting the value of v2 dash in this equation 1 now from 1 we get v1 dash equal to minus v2 dash e to the power minus x so, v1 dash is equal to e to the power x by 1 plus e to the power x. So, v1 is equal to integral e to the power x by 1 plus e to the power x dx. So, integrating we get the law of 1 plus e to the power x plus c2. That's c2, c1, c2 are arbitrary constant. Now, putting this value of v1 and v2 in this equation, we get the general solution of the event differential equation. So, 
just we summarize this method a method is a higher order differential equation uh, higher order linear differential equation solve method the method is our second order is higher order differential equation uh, calculation take to complicate it uh, second order is the calculation of the calculation of the calculation of the differential equation complementary function part of the complementary function is the arbitrary constant to replace the function of the function of the third order of the function I think the function they replace a derivative beyond B to B3, a derivative shop at the top, and a zero to the other. Among Tilba derivative for a polygon, the differential equation of both of the one was an arrector equation for the shake the thin kind of equation for the beyond that B to that with the desk related with the equation. No same equation will be to the other solve for it, that is beyond that B to that with the desk of. এবং সেগুলোকে ইন্টিগ্রেশন করার পর বি অন বি ভি থ্রি পাবো এবং সেটা বসিয়ে দিলে এই পার্টে আমরা জি আর এর সলিউশন পেয়ে যাব অনেক সময় এমন হতে পারে যে আমার এখানে কমপ্লিমেন্টারি ফাংশন বার করতে পারছি না কিন্তু আমার যখনই এটা সেকেন্ড অর্ডার ডিফারেনশিয়াল ইকুয়েশন এখানে দুটো লিনিয়ারলি ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট সলিউশন আমার যদি দেওয়া থাকে সেখানে আমরা ডাইরেক্ট কমপ্লিমেন্টারি ফাংশনটা লিখতে পারি এখানে আমরা u - -x u - -u x এই দুটো সলিউশন আমরা বার করলাম কমপ্লিমেন্টারি ফাংশনটা কি করে বার করতে হয় সেটা কিন্তু আমাদের জানা আছে যদি না জানা থাকতো বা দেয়া থাকতো মানে যদি সেকেন্ড অর্ডার ডিফারেনশিয়াল ইকুয়েশন হয় তখন দুখানা লিনিয়ারলি ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট সলিউশন আমরা দেয়া থাকবে আর সেই দুটোকে কাজে লাগিয়ে এইভাবে আমরা y টাকে ধরতে পারবো এবং y টা ধরার পর মেথড হচ্ছে সেম এইভাবে আমরা variation of parameter in the tradition of the higher order differential equation solve